as the situation unfolds in Ukraine, NATO countries continue military drills across Western Europe, but one of those drills turned deadly. Four U.S. Marines died during a training exercise in Norway. News Nation Washington, D.C. correspondent Alexandra Limon joins us now live. And Alexandra, what have you heard tonight? Rudabay, good evening. Well, the official cause of the crash is still under investigation, but the Norwegian authorities say that the U.S. aircraft went down during bad weather. Four U.S. Marines died Friday, according to authorities, when a U.S. Osprey aircraft like these crashed in northern Norway. Hal Kempfer is a retired Marine Corps intelligence officer who worked with Osprey aircraft. That is rugged terrain. It's up north. Um, as seen with the search and rescue, there's been some difficulty with the weather conditions up there. The crash happened during a NATO cold response training exercise. War is extremely dangerous, but training for war realistically is also very dangerous. And these types of uh, accidents happen. The crash was unrelated to the war in Ukraine, but comes as Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin spent the week in Europe highlighting the importance of NATO military readiness. Saturday, Secretary Austin met with the Bulgarian Prime Minister. To once again make clear how seriously the United States takes its NATO obligations. Bulgaria announced it's establishing and leading a NATO battle group. It's an important step. And we fully support it. Unfortunately, there is now not a single country that can live with the illusion that they are safe and secure. The U.S. is providing a company of armored vehicles called Strikers to join the battle group. Now, the Defense Department says that the U.S. providing this help should send a strong signal to other NATO allies that they, too, should step up to help Bulgaria bolster its military in light of Russia's attack on Ukraine. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.